Namaste. Today we'll be speaking about Venus. Let's see how, uh, what is Venus, his significations. In this Kali Yugam, everybody wants Venus. Why Venus? Because why Venus is the Karaka or the significator of luxury, of uh, spouse, you know, good marital life. He is a significator of film industry. Okay, if, and uh, modeling and uh, art creativity if your venus is good you can do really good in these industries and uh, the luxuries of luxuries is given by venus venus is the color the color is off white and uh, coincidentally i'm also wearing you know white off white basically yes this is venus now how is it placed in our horoscopes let's see like you know in the horoscope what is the result we will be getting when he's placed in different 12 signs? We can just go through that today. I'll just give you a small glimpse of it. Yes, of course, you know, the results change with the um, nakshatras and aspects and everything. This is just a small glimpse of it, uh, like a blank chart. We can take it as a blank chart predictions. All right, uh, fine. Now, Venus in the first house, he makes you look beautiful. He gives all the, the, the glamorous look and people of the opposite sex will just love you. You just get love for no reason, you know, that uh, there you'll have the natural attraction power. And you will also be uh, spending a lot of money for your own, own self, like, you know, beautifying yourself more uh, to look good. And you would like to wear nice branded clothes and, you know, nice perfumes, all these things. So Venus in the first house will naturally give you very good looking, you know, uh, luxurious uh, life and also good looks. Now in the second house, how is it? In the second house, you will have a very good speech. You know, people will just like the way you speak and you might also have a good voice. Okay, and you will have a great taste for food, which looks good. So the presentation is very important for you. You like uh, you like food, which is like uh, nicely presented. Okay, and third house. Now let's go to Venus in the third house. Venus in the third house is good uh, for you know um, social media or for uh, like you know looks and for wealth and stuff but it is not good for marital life okay so third uh, now we are done with third let's go to the fourth house how is venus in the fourth house venus in the fourth house is a house where you will have nice house you will have good or uh, comfortable vehicles in fact beautiful vehicles premium vehicles you know like the top class top end vehicles you will own and the house will also be beautiful uh, it'll look posh and it'll have that elegance okay but here the problem would be you know, mother might have some issues okay and uh, it is yes it gives that happiness also to some extent but mother will have some issues um, okay and now coming to the fifth house in the horoscope fifth house venus is um, nice he will get a lot of, he would want a lot of recognition, name and fame. At the same time, this also signifies uh, love marriage, might have love marriage. Of course, there are so many aspects, but uh, which will determine love marriage. But again, we can, on a bird's eye view, we can see, uh, say it would uh, prefer, this person would prefer love marriages and might get love marriage. And um, how is it uh, for the luxury entertainment? This person will like partying, like luxury, like uh, entertainment, friends, you know, or, uh, spend a lot for luxury and um, going out and stuff. Now coming to the sixth house. Venus in the sixth house, it is uh, good for money, making money, but it's not so good for marital life. Okay. And now coming to the seventh house, significator of marriage, seventh house. Seventh house is a house of marriage. And Venus here, to some extent, is good. And, um, you know, it's kind of uh, debatable sometimes. 
some people say it's karakoba vanashaha and some people um, do say it is uh, good apart from that what uh, here people will like social life okay uh, they they will have a special uh, interest in social gatherings and they will have a good image in society and they will get a beautiful wife and they will be very romantic and they will have a great sexual urge all right this is uh, seventh venus now let's go to the eighth venus venus is uh, in eighth house these people might get um, ancestral property and they will also be having issues with affairs love love affairs uh, any hidden affairs they will have issues with that the wife will be a realistically you know uh, wife's health will be fluctuating and uh, not so great and they will get a uh, property from the in-laws they will have so, uh, good gains from the in-laws and now we're going to the ninth house venus venus in the ninth house you will have um, a desire to worship and uh, and you will be religious and uh, you would want to travel for uh, um, mata temples you know goddesses you will have an affinity for goddesses mata and uh, your, fa your father might be good looking you know so he will have good looks now coming to the 10th house 10th house venus is a uh, venus these people if they are associated uh, somewhere near you know with uh, modeling or luxurious items um, selling of luxurious items or movie industry film industry these kind of uh, things you know they can really do well they will want a lot of name and recognition fame they will want it and to some extent venus if it is really placed well without any afflictions they do get it okay and now to the 11th house 11th house venus uh, you will have uh, gains from the men and uh, you will also have a good social circle and you will uh, have a lot of uh, female friends also we can say right now 12th venus venus in the 12th house it's a kind of debatable uh, venus if it is not placed in uh, capricorn or um, aquarius it is supposed to be good you know it, it, it gives good results and um, venus is uh, exalted in 12th house natural kal purush kundali it is exalted in 12th when it is exalted he, why venus is exalted in 12th house because he is a one who who gives a lot of devotion people usually presume like you know if venus is in the 12th house they say it is excessive sexual energy you know excessive uh, uh, you know because 12th also signifies room bedroom comforts they immediately jump to the conclusion that it is only you know actual excess sex, sexual energy but it is just not that because 12th house also signifies devotion sadhana meditation so this could also result in you know devotion all right so yes 12th house uh, venus we have covered all the houses of venus so uh, now coming to the remedy so venus is a karaka of all beautiful luxurious and uh, blissful life right so who doesn't want this kind of uh, life who doesn't want comforts in this kali yuga right so the, one of the easiest ways to please a shukra is to keep your spouse happy your house spouse is venus okay keep her happy if the venus has to be good shukra has to be good meaning wherever there is cheating if you cheat the spouse your partner venus will get disturbed you know that becomes um, you know you're spoiling the venus so keep your venus fine with being uh, dedicated and um, loving your wife gift her gift her venus again you know perfumes chocolate red roses all these things this will enhance your uh, venus when you're happy they say happy wife is happy life yes that is true if you uh, you know like she is your natural venus so don't spoil your venus 
it applies for both men and women okay uh, it applies for both of men and women just follow these remedies um uh, see where your chakra is placed in your horoscope do comment and let me know where your chakra is placed yes this is just a bird's eye view and we can go in depth with the nakshatra placement that's all different together so do comment and let me know where your venus is placed in your horoscope okay take care jai shri ram